Hey there, Barry Lovelace from Training for Your Sport. This exercise is for all athletes. So whatever sport you play, if it's softball, baseball, ice hockey, volleyball, it's just a really good exercise to grab the core and also work the upper body. So we really, we're really we really gonna bring in the chest and the shoulders as well. Um, but again, we always like to implement that core, right? Gotta have core in every exercise. So the first one is, it's an alternating chest press, and then we're gonna alternate to a regular chest press with the JC bands, okay? A lot of you have them. Let's put them to good use with some extra exercises. You can implement this in your team training. If you have any of my athlete training DVDs and you do the circuits, you can replace one of the exercises with this one, and just in your current routine, you can add it. That's it. Good stuff. So again, we always implement the core, and how do we do that? Well, we're gonna be on an unstable environment. Now I have these Airx mats that are very expensive, but you don't have to buy these. But you can also use the rolled up yoga mats that you're very familiar with. Okay, yoga mat rolled up to create an unstable environment. It's a kneeling, alternating press to a regular press. So we're gonna have our knees on the mat. We're gonna be as straight as we can from our hips, knees and shoulders are going to be nice and straight. You're going to lean in a forward, a little forward for balance, which is okay. As long as you're not bent at the back, okay, at the lower back. You still want to be nice and straight. And I'm going to show it to you from the side as well so you can see the toes up and how that looks. So we're going to alternate, but what I really want you to focus is number one, squeeze that core for balance. So squeeze your core as if someone's going to punch you in the stomach and hold. And now we're going to alternate. I'm going to press my, I'm going to focus my mind pressing my chest and my shoulders through the band and my hands are, my, my fingers are pointing out. So I just concentrate on not using my hands. I'm using my upper body. So here we go. Alternate for 10. Back. Now, all, now chest press for five. Chest. Chest and shoulders. Notice how I'm just using my Shoulder joint and elbow joint to press, that might have been six, to press through the handles, okay? Back to 10. Start with as much resistance as you want. It's all up to you. Five, four, three, two, one, and again. Now if you're going timed, which I highly recommend, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, or a one minute station, you're gonna do that the whole time, okay? 10, Alternate for 10, chest press for five, alternate for 10, continue on, okay? I'm gonna show you a really good way to add resistance. Number one, you already know, you can add resistance by coming out farther, creating more tension on the band. If that's too easy, because some of you are so strong, you can take two bands. I have an orange band and a red band. I'm gonna put them together. Just put the handles together, okay? This is how it looks. Nice and straight, shoulders through hips. Again, we're gonna lean in a little bit to balance. Toes up to create an unstable environment. If that's too much, you can put one toe down and keep one up. It's still gonna grab the core and force you to stabilize work of those core muscles. So this is how it looks. Elbows are slightly below the shoulders. Press. All shoulder and elbow joint, nothing else is moving. Big breath out, five, four. Press your chest and shoulders through the handles. And again, so I'll bring my toes up, nice strong core, big breath out, five, four, three, two, one, and then alternate. I love the alternating because that's what really kicks in the core, because you're going to have one arm out, one arm back, your toes are up, and you're on an unstable environment, so it's going to grab that core, forcing you to stabilize. So the things to focus on are resistance. You go your own resistance, okay? You know what it is, I don't. You don't wanna to use too much, and you don't wanna to use too little, because you want the exercise to work. Also, start with resistance, okay? Meaning, when we start, we wanna have tension on the band. We don't wanna be way back here and the band sagging. We wanna use the muscle both ways on the concentric part of the movement, which is this way, and also on the way back. So we have tension the whole time. So we're working the muscles both ways, challenging the core the whole time. Um, again, to the resistance, you can use two bands if you have to. 
And also the time. I don't go by reps, we go by time. So you can start with, if you're new, you can start doing it only 20 seconds, um, 30 seconds, 45, up to a minute. And you do that the whole time. And then take a break and do it a few more times. So that's it, add that to your current workout or your current circuit and you will feel your core activating and it also creates tons of power in your sport. So if you're hitting sport, you will definitely feel it. Definitely, with the bands and the kinetic energy, it stores and you're ready to use it when you need it. That's it, thanks Barry for training for your sport. See you next time.